Okay, good morning, everyone. Today is Wednesday, February the 7th, 2024, and it's nearly 7.30 a.m. Um, we are going to get started on a kit up of Dreamer Designs Barn Babies. This is the canvas that CC and I did a reveal and react on, reveal and react number two. If you um, haven't seen that video, this is what we revealed. I've been wanting to kit this up for two days. Work has been crazy. Life has been crazy. And I did not get to it until now. Oh, my goodness. So, finally. Okay, let me get everything that I don't need out of my way. And I'm going to get started kidding this up. This is a round. Oh my goodness. I have been living the round life for a minute. Yeah, this is a round. It is a 60 by 70 with 65 colors. One, two, three, four, five. And six ABs. Six ABs on this. So, this is going to be a little bit longer of a video. So, I need you guys, if you want to kind of hang with me. Uh, this is, you know, this is going to be that longer format that many of you don't like. But hopefully, maybe you'll run this video when you're diamond painting yourselves. I watch a lot of kidding up videos when I'm diamond painting. I don't know what it is, but somehow that's what I gravitate to when I'm diamond painting. So I'm going to pause the video for just one second and grab a couple of things. Okay, I needed to grab my Sharpie. I've got some notes for myself to talk to you about. And I've grabbed... The coffee. Now, see, I put a straw in the cup. This will cut down on the slurping. So, yeah, you're welcome. Okay. I am kidding up into my kidding up station. The last time I did a kidding up, I had two cameras going and you were seeing the kidding up station over there. Yeah. Technical issues. Yeah. I, so, I'm not doing that today. And there are some things that I had a loose bead there that I have on my topic list and I just thought of another one. So I'm going to write it down. And it's fine if you see this list. I may get to everything and I may not. And did I put that on there? Yeah. Okay. Okay. See, I tend to when I do my videos I can very easily go down a rabbit hole. Right? So I'm trying to figure out ways to stay on topic or to remind myself to finish a topic that I start. Okay, I'm trying to be a little bit quiet on the crinkling of it all. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I see some stowaways kind of all over the place. Okay, this one is 65 colors. Yeah. Okay, so let's get started here. Let me just get my bearings here. <coughs> What is the top? 152, 223. So I kind of wanted to start with number... Okay, here we go. Let me get out my scissors. I'm going to use my Timu scissors. Because I like the... Oh, that's right. It doesn't post. Okay, let me just put that in my tray over there. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven seems like a good number to start with here. Okay. Oh, I could have done 10 and I'd have been fine. Just cut these into some smaller trains. Because you know, if you watch my channel, you guys know I love my heat sealed bags. If they're in individual bags and not in a connected train like this, I don't care. As long as they're in heat sealed bags. And the reason for that, if you newbies weren't aware, or didn't know, or didn't notice, the heat sealed bags don't generate as much static as the Ziploc bags. That has been my observation now for a number of years. And every time I have come across 
an opportunity for comparison, yeah, I, I've not been proven wrong. As a matter of fact, there have been other content creators that have made the same observation. I think these were all of the skin tones. When I did the color study during the reveal and react, and we might do that again on this video. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see how far. Oh, let me just put them over here. Okay. Let me keep those nearby. Okay, I'm just going to sit this over here. I've got the washi tape that I'm going to use on this canvas kind of picked out. So I've got that over there as well. Here are my stickers that come with the kit. So we're just going to put those over there and kind of get started over here. So let me go ahead and flip this up so you can see the colors. And I'm going to try to find the angle where it's the least amount of glare. This is like 1 through 7 or 1 through 8. It's a beautiful color palette in this. Um, other than the uh, skin tone, I'm not so sure about that. So hang on. <sighs> Went to a straw and that should negate all of the slurping. I can't stand it either. So... Yeah, you're welcome. All right, let me get started. Now, how am I going to kick this up? I'm just kidding it up. I find a symbol. Um, I find the number, and then I go to my kidding up station to grab the right item. So, I'm just going to go 1 through 65. Yeah. Okay. Got my scissors here. Number 1. Woo! Finally getting started on this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Now, I do put the stickers on my flip tops. Because of the way I have my flip tops organized in my kidding up station. And I've shown that a number of times. And I may be able to... You know what? Let me pause the video just before I get started here. So I can show that little 10 second view of my kidding up station. Since it's not on camera. I'm not going to show the video. I'm just going to show an image of it. That is the kidding up station with my flip tops and the stadium seating stand. I think it's called a supply and stamp stand from Joann's. Okay, it's one, two, three, four, five, six tiers. And it currently has 78 um, containers in there. This is a 65 color kit. So I can easily get it all kitted up over there. But this is kind of what it looks like. It's elevated. And because it's elevated, my line of sight is the front of the containers. When I'm looking for a color, I see this before I see this. I just know how, you know, 1 through 14 are here, and then 15 through 27, 28 through 40, 41 through so on and so forth per tier. So I can find the number. But I, this is what I see. This is what I look for. So I put it here as opposed to anywhere up here. That works for me. Okay. So that is that. So that's number one. Oh my goodness. And how long is this video already? Yeah, it's gonna it's like that, folks. So okay. Yeah, let's Oh and I don't have my garbage pail. See I haven't had enough coffee to get everything kind of lined up here. My bad. Okay, we should be good to go now. I've got my little pail here. Now, what I'm using, this is a new tray for me. I placed an order with Admore Zest. She is a YouTuber and she has her own shop. And these are her tray designs. And I have been looking at them for over a year. But I never pulled the trigger. One, because they're in... Um, over, they're overseas. She's in Europe, in London. Or the UK, I should say. I don't know what city she's in. I forget. But I had never pulled the trigger on her trays. And I was watching one of her kidding up videos. 
and she pulled out her no lines tray. Now I had known about it and I wanted one and finally decided to pay the shipping to go ahead and place the order. That's what I'm using for this kitting up. This tray is just like her other trays that have the grooves in it for your diamond painting, but this one has no lines. She says um, that she created these style of trays for special drills. You know, the when you do a partial, and much like I did for my owl, for these drills here, I'm hoping you can see that. Yeah, for these drills here, these larger drills, she made trays like this that have no lines in them. And I thought, that's a great idea. And I also thought, I'm going to use this tray. This is number two. Um, instead of a funnel, or at least try to. This is my first opportunity to try this tray as a funnel. I did recently, what did I do with them? I bought these two inch funnels. They're two inch across and they fit inside the flip tops. At least the spout does. That doesn't always ring true to find a funnel that actually fits inside the flip tops. But I did find them. But I've decided to use this tray. And so far, it's meeting my expectations. It's just a tray, but with no lines in it for kidding up and kidding down. It just sounded like something that would work for me. And we're giving it a try with this video. I've used the regular trays since I'm working on another whip on my horse that I also entered into hashtag barn life 24 and like I said I'm about oh maybe about halfway maybe not quite halfway 45% of the way completed with that and I've been using these trays once the regular ones I bought five three of them have the lines I bought this green one I don't want to dig for them um, a pale blue one and a smaller white one with lines and then two with no lines because well Kelly Renee why'd you buy two with the no lines yeah let's say it together folks Kelly Renee is extra if one was good an idea to have then two would be an even better idea right and plus I was it was overseas and I'm not going to do a lot of orders with her. I'm thinking to do one more order with her. And um, I'm, I, I may, if, if my if finances agree with me, I may put a couple of no lines in that order and give one away in a future giveaway. But since I, you know, it would be smart to always kit up. You see how little, I do have some static. I see that happening. The other two bags didn't trigger me for static, but this one's triggering me a little bit. So with that said, I always have my pre-cut dryer sheets. Let me go ahead and get a piece of a dryer sheet out. Get in there. Be stubborn. Um, yeah, so I so in a future giveaway, see, I went down a rabbit hole. I'm trying to find my way back, people. Yeah. Let's see if I can do this. That might be too many. It obviously is too many. It's going in. Well, I could save myself this headache. There we go. Uh, okay. Okay, this is this is starting to be a fail. I'm going to have to find the right way to do this so it doesn't get jammed. The problem is the traffic jam of, of drills all at once going in the pot. Okay, I think I figured it out. In the meantime, 
Do I have my brush out? Yeah, let me just get this together. A little bit of a fail there, but learn as I go. I've never used these before for my kidding up. And I just had to figure out the right way to use them. I'm good. Okay. Okay, that is four. That is in there. I do have a dryer sheet in there. So I'll give it a little bit of a shake to kind of get it started. And okay, put that away. I've got my tweezers. Oh, there's another one. What color was that, by the way? That was 310. Okay. I didn't have to collect that one bead, 310. And only one bag of 310. That's promising, right? A little bit of static here, too. Not much, but enough that I'm going to put a dryer sheet in there. Okay, so yeah, so when I place another order with Add More Zest, I'm going to consider putting a no lines tray in that order as a future giveaway. Is anybody out there, have you tried the, uh, the uh, Add More Zest products, their trays? They have a log book out there. They have multiple trays in different sizes um, and other types of accessories. Okay, that was more successful. That was more successful. Okay, that's working out. Oh, and I didn't put the... You should always put the label on the containers before you put, fill it full of drills. And I neglected to do that. Okay, that's number six. Six of 65, folks. So let me know what you guys think about that. If you've tried these trays, I just got mine a few days ago from the date of this recording. Look at that a little bit of static in there. A little bit of static. Those drills are sticking. Um, I've got a dryer sheet already sitting out here. So, okay, there we go. That's seven. That's six. Yeah, let me know if you've used these trays and what you think about them. So far, I like them. I still have my go-to trays from Creations by LEP on Etsy really like those trays and I have a whole wardrobe of them but um, these specialty trays with this with this shape this design and this no line tray which is unique get that a little bit of a shake so that is that on the trays let me try to keep track of what I'm talking about okay one of the things, now I'm on number seven. One of the things that I halfway talked about because I went down a bunny hole and was not successful in finding my way back was, okay, that's a, okay. We'll rehome that little bee. Um, I talked about the R&R &R videos, the reveal and react videos, my premium videos that I, so far, I've only done two of those videos, but I've done them both with Cece from Texas. And I didn't say it flat out. I, I think I put that I did an edit and I put it on screen. That I do those videos with Cece when Cece's available. But I have such a large stash that I want to do those videos more often. So you will start to see R&R &R videos or reveal and react videos with me doing them solo. Not always with Cece. Um, because her schedule and mine are don't always 
coincide. I will continue to do those videos with her, but I will start to do those videos without her. Being that I've done just two, but both of them were with her, I wanted to kind of draw your attention that the, probably the next one you see will be me doing that type of video by myself. And then when Cece's available, we'll arrange to do one together again. So now I need eight. Oh, okay, here we go. Eight, nine, and ten. Okay. The Reveal and React videos are unboxing, unbagging videos. And even though I do team room hauls and other discount shop hauls, like I did a Diamond Art Gift a reveal, um, haul as well. I didn't use the funnel for this one. Ah, look at me. Um, the Reveal and React videos are for premiums. I am not going to do like a stash video. Uh, it's just too much work, guys. It's just... It's just I know a lot of people like stash videos and other people... Oh, I didn't put a label on that, you see? Okay, let me try to remember to always put my label on my container first. Okay, this is nine. Um, taking a moment here just to think through. I don't know where I put the other... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, um, those are, those reveal and react or unbagging videos, and I do do the haul videos for the budget companies. And in the last video, oh, I should be using my funnel, right? Um, in the last video, I alluded to a new series. And I thought I would talk about that again. Deja Vu. Play on words. Deja Vu is something we're all familiar with when you're reliving a moment. Deja Vu is an opportunity for me to take my budget canvases. Does that need dryer sheet? And do a deeper dive into those budget canvases. I'm requiring coffee. Oh, it's good. Um, so I can do a deeper dive. I can look at those canvases, maybe do a little bit of a color study, and maybe make some notes before I actually file it away into my organizer books. That's what I wanted to do. On the Deja View series videos that I will be starting very soon. That's number 10. And, yeah, Static. Those will be longer format. I will not be watching the clock on those. So, however, I'm also not changing how I do my whole videos. You know, the kind of format that basically keeps it moving? Yeah, I'm not going to change that concept. But I'm adding the second look series. For those of you that don't mind or even prefer because I've heard from you in the comments some of you actually prefer the longer videos because you watch them while you're diamond painting and so do I to be honest about it when I'm looking through your videos I'm looking I'm stopping <clears throat> and actually diamond painting on the longer format videos because that way, I don't have to, you know, your video starts and then it ends. And then I have to find another video to watch while I'm diamond painting. Then another video to watch while I'm diamond painting. And when you do those longer, I love haul videos. So when you do those longer haul videos, I'm all tuned in while I'm diamond painting. Because it's a longer format video. And I can stop at any time and glance over to see what you're sharing. 
I'm so glad I'm getting this up. So, and I've seen, like I said in my own comments, people say that they, you know, don't watch the car. Keep, keep me company when, you know, I'm doing this or I'm doing that. And I like them too. So I wanted to offer both styles. I'm looking for, here it is. I'm pretty sure that's it. And this is 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Okay, we're good for a minute. So I wanted to <coughs> offer both versions. The haul videos, will, well, I will continue making them snappy and trying to stay on point and keeping them moving. Whereas my Deja View videos will not be clock watching videos. I'm just going to keep going for, I don't know, four to six canvases. Spend some time with them. Get them put into the book. Start getting them organized. Maybe doing what I call color studies on them. Maybe consider doing some blinging on them. Maybe some recharting. Making some notes for myself on that canvas as I take that deeper dive on that canvas. And that type of review. <clears throat> Very groggy this morning. I actually think I have something cold to drink over here. Maybe that's what I need. Hang on. <clears throat> I've got a little bit of ice. That's a bonus. Mm. Soothes my throat a little bit. So I wanted to offer both versions. So that's why I decided to start the Deja View series. Anybody have an opinion about that? Is that a video that you personally will watch? You can let me know in the comments. And I am, as of February the 7th, Wednesday. What time is it? Almost 8 o'clock. I don't start work for a while. Um, is that a video format that you gravitate to? And if I... If I do the haul videos exactly the way I've been doing them, keeping them snappy, keeping them moving, would a second longer format video be something you'd be interested in seeing? I'm not sure. The reason that I've decided to do it is because it's something I'm interested in doing. I can't always tell whether or not my subscribers, and thank you all for being here, I don't say that enough in my videos. I say it in the comments when you guys leave me a comment, but th the channel is a very young channel. It is, this is 13. It is growing beyond my expectations, and I could not be more pleased. I am a little bit behind on the comments, is what I meant to say. I found my way out of that bunny hole. But I will be working on that this afternoon and tomorrow morning, getting caught up. I try to get all the way caught up. And then I um, take a couple of days off from doing comments and then I go back. So that's kind of where I am. And I've got 13. Yeah, so let me know what you think about that Deja Vu series. I'm going to do it because it's something I really, I do privately anyway, after the haul videos and I just thought it'd be an opportunity to share more of my diming painting practice, hobby practice, with um, my subscribers and viewers of the channel. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for helping me grow this channel. Uh, it's been a whirlwind. Uh, just beyond my expectations. Just beyond. And as I'm speaking on the number of subscribers, I'm going to do this a little differently. I'm just going to do half that bag. I am doing, I have completed the um, gifting for the 100 plus subs. It took the winner and I a couple of emails to get connected. And they have received their gift card. Yay you, Teresa's Journey. 
got that and I did uh, get notification that she received it. So happy shopping, Teresa's Journey. But I'm doing another one for $250. We are beyond $250. I know that because CC told me. She tells me when I reach milestones. Because she loves that. Um, I don't watch the numbers as much as CC does. I did, I'm just trying to improve the channel. Come up with ideas. And things that I do privately and how I could possibly share them publicly. Like my Deja View series that is coming. Ah, here we go again. Killer Renee. Sticker. That was 14. Let me just... Yes, that was 14. Okay, I'm up to 15. Still got a while to go, folks. Just hang in there. So I'm doing another drawing for 250. I have to pick a date for that drawing. And the drawing, the winner will be chosen from people in the comments on this video. This is the video, this one, that I'm going to be tagging to do the drawing from. So if you would like to be a part of that drawing, you will need to leave a comment on this video. Now, when will I be doing the drawing? We didn't have that many entries on the last one, and I was hoping for more entries. So why don't I just do the drawing? This is a short month, 29 days in this month. And today is the 7th. And I don't think 10 days is enough for the video to be out there. To get enough people to participate in the drawing. So I like to keep it circulating a little bit longer. And do the drawing at the end of the month. At the end of February. That way there's more than enough time for enough people to subscribe to the channel. You have to be a subscriber. Subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. Now... As I get closer to the end of this video, I'm going to put a hashtag on the screen. I will do it in two places in this video. That hashtag needs to be in your comments. It will be near the middle-ish and near the end-ish. I won't say it, but it will be on screen. I'll make it very readable. I'll make it big, and I'll do it twice. You'll have to include that hashtag in your comments for this video to be part of the drawing. I will go against the hashtag this time. Something new that I haven't done before. Well, I've only had one drawing. It's not like I have, you know, seven. I've had one drawing and I didn't do it before, but I do want to try it with this one. And what number am I up to? 16 out of 65, folks. I'm trying to keep it moving, but I knew this was going to be a long one. 65 colors, plus somebody who's mouthy like me. Do I need static? Eh. Oh, why not? There's enough drills in there. Come on. Oh, like oh, they're really crushed in there. And some of these I think are a little bit too big. You cut them down. Yeah, for you newbies to come back static, get out your dryer sheets. Scented, unscented, whatever. And if you're beating up, if you're beating up, if you're kidding up into your plastic containers, put the little square of your dryer sheet in there. And if you're working out of baggie, just put a dryer sheet in the baggie. Zip it up nice and tight and give it a little shake to get those beads hitting that dryer sheet. It will help. It's the only solution that I use. I know some people use freezers and some people rub alcohol inside the containers. Some people use their hot air breath. Um, I don't do any of that. I use the dryer sheets. I, that's just easy for me. I've got plenty of them. I just pre-cut them. 
I pre-cut them. I keep them in one of my Elizabeth Ward dupe containers. And I keep this container in my kitting up station over there right at the end. I could get an extra beading container in there. I can get, I have 78, I could get 79 if I take that out, but I'm not going to do that. So, okay, that was, I'm on 17. Okay, I gotta find 17. There's 21. What is 17? Oh, seven. Wait a minute. 17. Okay, hang on, folks. That's 44 string. Oh, there's 18. There's 17. Okay, found it. Trying to make as little noise as possible. I'm trying. I may not always be successful, but I am trying. Okay, label is on there. 452 is the color. Yeah, so, one last time, the drawing for the $50 Amazon gift card will be tagged against this video with comments using the particular hashtag that I will be looking for during the drawing that I will display on screen twice. Somewhere near the, near the middle, somewhere near the end. And that is for the 250. And I will do the drawing. Let me write it down. End of Fed to draw. Will it be the last day of the month? I doubt it. As I get closer to the actual day, it might be uh, 29 days in this month. I'll have to look at the weekend dates. I don't have it in front of me. Mm. Coffee's the perfect temperature to drink now. Um, I doubt it'll be the last day of the month. I don't like to go that. I don't think that's necessary. But maybe 26, 27, 28, 29, somewhere in there. Nobody cares where, when I draw, but I will, I will publicize it. So if people have not gotten their comment in and still want to, let them, letting them know that they still have time. So I will publish that. I'll publish it in the description. I'll put all of the uh, drawing information in the description as well as the actual date. Sometime near the end of the month. I'll put the actual date in the description because I would have figured it out by then. And the gift will be another $50 Amazon gift card. Okay, so I got that out of the way. And as the channel continues to grow, I will do other things. I can't always do $50 gift cards. Let's just keep it real. But I'm so appreciative of how this channel has grown and the support that I have received. I really wanted to do a real token of my appreciation. And I initially was going to do $25 and then I decided to up it. Actually, I doubled it. That's 19. And that's 19. And that's 19. Okay, what color is this? 469. Okay, so I've talked to you about the 25, a uh, 250 drawing, subscriber drawing. I talked to you about doing the reveal and react videos solo on occasion. And I talked to you about the longer format Deja Vu videos that I want to do. And that was a that's, a, that's a big thing. That's something, I hesitated on doing it, and I said, why not? Some people will enjoy this longer format, just like me, because I enjoy them so much. So I just decided to do it. And I've got a hamper full of diamond paintings that I've already shown in my Timu hauls, or my other budget site hauls, that are not yet in my books. Those are the ones I'm going to be pulling from. No new stuff. 
in those videos. Just a revisit of things I've already shown. That is 20. That is 20. So I'm going to pull that hamper closer to me when I'm doing the video. And I'm going to randomly pull one out of the hamper. And when I, you know, want to end the video, I will end the video without watching the clock. Okay, that was 19. And so now I'm on 20. That is 20 for 70. That is 20 for 70. And that is 20. I'm good to go. And I did put a dryer sheet. I might as well put a dryer sheet and the rest of these going forward. Yeah, so you can look forward to that. Now, there's something else that I want to do for the channel. And I... Ugh. Okay. This is going to sound a little campy. Okay. It sounds campy to me every time I say it. 21. But I'm, I want to I wanna do something else. And what inspired me to do this? What I want to do, in a nutshell... Pause, guys. I'm not going to go down a bunny hole. I just want to get my string out for 21. I'm on 21. What I want to do are some events. Now, what's different about the events that I have in mind... Coffee? Coffee is like my mental fuel. Anybody else? It's like I just need coffee in my system to kind of keep the brain cells from going dormant on me. They may go dormant on me, but I, I am trying to uh, mitigate the triggers that make my brain cells go dormant. I want to do an event. And what makes... A sharing our shine event different than every other event that's out there. One, I want to make the event channel specific. Anybody in the diamond painting community that just wants to hop on and be a part of, that's fine. But I want, to, <coughs> excuse me, I want to market the events that I do, at least initially as a channel member event with not gift card as a prize but just a mystery box of it could be diamond painting it could be supplies it could be stickers it could be it could be one of these it, it, it could be a little squishy cutie thing that I just dropped somewhere it could be anything just a mystery box. That'll be the prize. And those subscribers of the channel are the eligible. Did I finish that? 21. 21. Are eligible to participate in the drawing. So it's a channel event. That I will... Two bags of 22. So I'm going to keep one aside. And open one. But subscribers of the channel are the eligible winners of the gift box. As opposed to a gift card. What I put in it is what I put in it. And I'm calling it, for right now, folks, okay, I might be changing the name because it's kind of campy, a sharing circle event, a channel event called the Sharing Circle. This is Sharing Our Shine. And the theme for the various channel events will vary. I, I want the themes to be meaningful I may have a meaningful theme and something that's a little bit more playful so that more people can participate in the event and be eligible for the gift box 
But what do I mean by meaningful? What do you mean by meaningful? Well, like this. Here's an idea. What if one of the themes was about one's culture? If you're Irish, if you're Scottish, if you're Egyptian, if you're Puerto Rican, or uh, any of the Latino uh, races, uh, Mexican, Puerto Rican, Dominican, whatever it may be. But, there's a twist. When I do a culture event, I'm going to make sure 22, 22, 22, everything's 22. This event that I'm thinking of would be not about your culture, but about a culture that's not yours. If you're Irish, you could do um, a diamond painting canvas that's about Egyptian. If you're Egyptian, you could do a diamond painting that celebrates the Hispanic culture. If you're African American like me, I could do a diamond painting that celebrates South Korea. Or Chinese or Japanese. If you're Japanese, you could do something that celebrates the American culture. Something, a culture that's other than yours. And when, I, I will have some type of Facebook page or post opportunity as well. So that we can share our progress with one another. I can show, if you're not going to the Facebook page and seeing I can actually show it on the channel, that sort of thing. But rather than open up the, the event to the entire, entire diamond painting community, my channel is so young. I, I don't have that presence yet in the diamond painting community. My channel is growing, and thank you very much. And, you know, it's starting to be recommended through the YouTube algorithm, I guess. And it's continuing to grow. But I, I'm, I'm not trying to, you know, I know that there are some mm, content creators out there with thousands of subscribers. And that's great. But it doesn't mean that I can't celebrate my subscribers in my own way. So, let me bottom line it for you. Why am I missing 24? I see 25. But I don't see 24. Okay, 24 might be one of these loose bags. Let me see. 36, 38, 49, 39, 58, 59. Okay, I don't see 24. Oh, what is this? 57, 30, 32, okay, 25, 28, 29, 30, 28, 30, 28, 30, 28, 30, 28, 30, 28, 30, 28, 30, 28, 30, 28, 30, 28, 30, 28, 30, 28, 30, 28, 30, 28, 30, 28, 30, 28, 30, 28, 30, Okay, I'm going to look again. I don't see 24. I have 25, 26. But this is 24, 7, 22. I don't see 24. And I was very careful of taking the drills out of the bag. Okay, is that, what's this, what's this? 24, mystery solved. Oh, that's the color I don't like. Oh, okay. I got it. Okay. Let me just get this all back here. Okay. 24. Yeah, so that's my idea. I want to do some channel events that subscribers who choose to participate can go through their stash and participate. 
No, the diamond painting doesn't have to be licensed. It will be a new start. Let's do a new start. And whether or not you finish, well, I don't, I don't think that's necessary. I don't think that's necessary. It's encouraged. I might change my mind on that, but 24. Let me just double check because I'm feeling a little... Okay, there we go. 24. Okay, I will be emptying that. Oh, this little... Um, let me show you this. This little container. Goodwill. 89 cents. Yes, perfect. Okay, 25. So right now I'm calling it the sharing circle. A circle of subscribers that all participating in an event for the channel. And those of you that do videos, I'll, I'll put out a hashtag for the event so that if you hashtag, <coughs> we can all find your videos for the channel event. And if you don't do videos, um, I'm going to have a place where we can post our pictures and make comments about the culture that, like, if it's a culture, if it's a culture theme, the culture that you chose, and what, if anything, you know about the image and what it represents for that culture. It's like, it's a way of celebrating diversity from some other culture's point of view. So, I, the themes that I want to do my channel events for, I want them to be, to have some substance. I just don't want to do a channel event to do a channel event. I want the theme to be meaningful. So, if, if we did a culture event, and that is in my mind, it's in my notes that I want to do this, it won't be about your culture. It will be about someone else's culture. Do a diamond painting that celebrates your fellow man's, your choice, culture. Something different than yourself. And then we can kind of see what everyone chose. In the budget world, man, I mean, the images are, are like unlimited. If you want to celebrate the Irish, you could do something St. Patty's Day. Right? Four Leaf Clover. I'd have to do some research to find other iconic images that celebrate Ireland. Like, what is the flower of Ireland? And then I could, I could find that out, and I could do Ireland's national flower, or the flag of Ireland. Or if I was doing Ireland, I could find out what some of the famous food items are of Ireland. But as I'm thinking about it, and as I'm doing a little Google research about the culture that I think I want to do... Oh, these... Yeah, if, if a pair of tweezers can't pick up something, I'm about ready to toss them, to be honest. 27... Oh, 26. I didn't put the... See? Kelly Renee went on her mouth. So if I'm doing Ireland, I can do a little Google research to see what the food and drink is, national flower. Um, there's a lot of things I could learn about the Irish. And that's the kind of the nature of what I'm thinking about doing. The research doesn't have to be extensive. It could take all of 10, 15 minutes. Just Google it. Learn a little bit about the culture you think you want to do for the culture type of event that the channel is going to be hosting. And in your research, you're going to learn a little bit about somebody else's culture. Some Maybe something you didn't know before. And then once I know what flower is the flower of Ireland, I can hit the um, budget site and get that image or something as close to it as possible right to do for the event and then you could tell us about it when I figure out how to get Facebook to work for me 
then you could tell us about it in your postings. So we all can learn a little bit about, for example, Ireland. If you're doing Egypt, we can learn a little bit about uh, Egyptian culture or foods or dance or song or flags or whatever it is. Let's educate and entertain one another is the idea behind these channel events. Something with some substance. That's the idea. 28. Was that 28? Yes, it was. Let me know your thoughts. No expectation that everyone can participate in everything. We all have lives. Did I put dryer sheet in there? I don't think I did, but I'm going to now. I see some beads sticking. See right there? See right there? They're sticking. That's static. Let me know your thoughts. Even if you can't participate initially, what do you think about the overarching idea of it? The sharing circle. This is sharing our shine, by the way, which is why I coined that nomenclature for what I want to do. 29. 29. Uh, 29. But is that type of um, activity something that you will consider participating in? Going through your stash and finding one or two paintings. Oh, yeah, and how long will these events... What would be the duration of an event? Well, I thought about that. I'm thinking month and a half. I'm thinking month and a half. So no one's rushed. And if you're participating in other events, or that you have a canvas that you're working on for a, um, a you're gifting a canvas and, and you know that's a priority for you that you don't feel that this channel event is going to take away from your goal of finishing whatever whip you're working on now that there's plenty of time is my point plenty of time which is why I'm reconsidering whether or not part of the channel event is for you to post a finish on whatever Facebook page or site or whatever I come up with to be eligible for the giveaway. And I'm thinking the giveaway box might have a retail value of somewhere between $25 and $50. I'm going to always be as generous as I can because why wouldn't I? And find some interesting, unique things that are to the channel. Things that I use. Things that I like. And put them in the um, gift box. And I'm, I'm not sure how to handle international winners because of shipping. Just yet. I, I might say if you're outside of the U.S., this isn't alternative and it might have to be a gift card or something. I'm, I'm not sure yet. It's just something I started noting down. That's 31. That's 31. And that's 31. And there's only one bag of it. So let me know your thoughts about being part of a channel event. You can always go out to the Facebook page Diamond Painting Events and find ones that are open up to the entire community. And the only reason that I decided to do something different and make it just channel specific um, is because I I'm, I'm just don't feel like I'm big enough to do something. I don't think I put a dryer sheet in there. Poor me. As a matter of fact, you know what? I'm going to pour some of that back out. That's a lot of drills. And I'm going to get that dryer sheet somewhere in the middle of the pack. And then I'm going to put a few more in and put another sheet in. It's a lot of drills. 
Back it up a little bit. Slowly. Okay. Let me get one more dryer sheet in there. So let me know what your thoughts are about the um, currently named Sharing Circle channel event concept. Are you a likely participant? Do you have ideas? You can you can email me at sharingourshine at yahoo.com with your ideas. And let me blend it with my own ideas and see if we can come up with something. If you're interested in doing that. Okay? So that is another topic that I wanted to talk to you about. 32. Um, here's a dryer sheet. Let me get that in there. I'm going to cut this in two. Put one in now. Do a half. Okay, 32. Up, up, up. Very 32. I didn't clean off my containers with Goo Gone when I took the last set of labels off. I will after this one. I think I forgot to do it. I didn't mean to do it. It wasn't my usual laziness as the excuse as to why I didn't get done. No, I just got busy with other things. Work is kind of crazy right now. Okay, so it's about half-ish. Let me go ahead and get those in. I just have to kind of manage. Ah, I'm making a mess! I wish the sides on this were a little bit higher. That that would be my feedback. And as you guys know, I don't lick my fingers. It's just something. Okay, that is just so successfully works that I just use my sort quick. And if you haven't seen it before, I've shared it on the site. It's this. I hope you're seeing that. I'm not standing up and looking in the camera, so I'm just kind of hoping if I move it around enough, at some point, the whole thing will come through. Sort quick. It's about three, four dollars on Amazon. And it's just a fingertip moisten, uh, moistener. Quite a bit of drills in here. Let's do another one. And um, it is very, 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 very light. I'm not slicking up or greasing up my drills by using that to do drill pickups at all. So if you were thinking, oh, I don't, I don't want to put all that extra sticky. Oh, I think I may not be able to get the rest of this in. Which means I need a baggie. Which means I have to find a baggie. So, let's see. Do I have baggies in here? I usually have a bag of baggies somewhere nearby. Yes, I do. Look at me, being halfway organized. Okay. Okay, tiny little baggie. What number is 32? 817. Oh, I can use this. 817, and where is that white strip? What side is it on? Okay. 817. B babies. Barn babies. 817. Now, since I'm going to do a baggie, I am going to take a piece of this dryer sheet and I am going to put that dryer sheet in here. I'm also going to put some of these drills. I don't need it that full since I'm going to have to do a baggie anyway. And that way, the dryer sheets that are in there have more air space to move around. 
Okay. So that is that. Dryer sheet, label. Okay, I should be labeling this to B babies. Okay. Good. Okay, so that's that. 32, 817, dryer sheets are in here. Okay, I'm on 33. Thirty-three. There it is. Thirty-three, thirty-four, and thirty-five. We're good. One bag each. Uh, I need dry sheet. Dry sheet. Um, I don't think. I'm not trying to be too frugal with these, but I don't like those great big pieces. Okay, so this is 33, this is 33, that's the label, this is 819, pretty pink. This one bag. Okay, 33. This tray, is it working out? Yes. I wish that it better fit into my flip tops. It's not a bad fit, I mean, it gets close enough. 33. Um, so it is working and I would use it for those special drills as well I do when you have I'm going to have to kind of manage how many drills I put in the tray at any one time to avoid it going over the sides and making a mess let me get a dryer sheet in there Okay, dryer sheet in there. What number is this? Color. 823. Okay. Yeah, that's the one thing. If I don't put too many drills... That's a little piece of trash. Too many drills in the no-lines tray at once, I have less spillover. It's 34, 34, and 34. Okay, just double-checking. Okay, I have some of that residual of the uh, sort quick on my fingers. Don't have to reapply. 35. So, let me recap. 35. Bunny hole for a minute. 35. 35. 898. 35. 35. Okay, so let me recap. Deja View are my haul revisits. No new stuff, just revisiting the old stuff and doing a deeper dive. Those are longer format videos that I will be starting very soon. Okay, the 250 subscriber giveaway will happen against this video. There will be two hashtag moments in this video that you'll need to include in your comments. And I don't know where these go, so they will be rehomed. Okay. R&R. &R, reveal and react videos that I generally do with CC. I will continue to do with CC, but I will also start doing some of them solo, just so that you are aware. I just have too much stash and too many things I want to share with you guys and not wanting to drag it out forever and ever I'd like to be a little bit more proficient in getting those videos uploaded and shared with you guys so when you know if CC's available then we'll do it together if she's not available then expect me to do that same video by myself even though it's really more fun with a friend but 37. That's not always practical with her schedule and my schedule being in conflict sometimes. 37. 37. And I don't think I have a 37 um, out yet. 37. That's 38. Uh, okay. That's 30. Oh, that's 39. That's a 38. 
what am I looking for? I'm looking for 37. 37, 38, 39. Is 40 also loose? Where's 40? Oh, 40 to string. Okay, so I'll do these three. That's a 37, 37, 37. Okay. So R and R solo. Sharing circle. That's what I'm calling it now. I'm trying to think of a better. I don't know. Maybe I'll keep a sharing circle. 37. Which will be an opportunity for subscribers of this channel to participate in an event for the channel members. And at the end of the event, we'll get a uh, gift box of various niceties. Diamond painting related. That I'll just... I have things that I would include in it now, right now. And I acquire things all the time. And I will just share them to that box. And again, the difference being that my goal is to make the channel events meaningful. Basically, it will be meaningful, then maybe there will be a side event that's a little bit more playful. But the overall, overarching event will be a meaningful event. I don't know, maybe should I keep it all meaningful and no playful? No, I don't think so. I don't want to be that rigid. People should be having fun. But at the same time, um, this is a hobby that relies on images and imagery. Right? And why can't we, because there's so much out there in budget world, why can't we choose something? That speaks to an event that simply has a little meaning beyond it. Like, you know, I, I wouldn't do an event that's your favorite superhero. Oh, maybe I would. Because I'm a Marvel maven. I, I mean, I love Marvel. I didn't do a dryer sheet in there. Do I need one? Oh, uh, maybe not. I'm up to 40, folks. Feels like... I should be further along. I've been trying to keep it moving, but kidding up takes time. And here's 40 through... Oh, these are like shades of gray. 40 through... 43. Then I see 44 right here. So let me just go ahead and get this in. This is dark, and it's a lot of colors. I mean, a lot of uh, drills. Yeah, so I don't know if I could get a zest tray order in and receive product. Well, I guess I could, depending upon when I do my channel event, because I would like to include one of these trays in that gift box for the channel event. And I'm thinking sometime this spring, kind of get that going once I get everything figured out. I'm sure there'll be just, you know, it may just be a handful of people that want to participate, but that's good. That's okay. Because <clears throat> uh, I am participating in events for the first time in my life with the um, hashtag DP Big Butts event that I did that was meant to celebrate positive body image. I did my Chunky Mama's canvas, finished that, and now I'm doing hashtag Barn Life 24 with Barn Babies, right? And I did the cow in a cup and the horse drinking from the stream. Okay, I'm at 41, and I need... There it is. I really want to keep this moving. That's my... Do you like kidding up? Does anybody like kidding up? I mean, it's just a joyful part of diamond painting, of the diamond painting hobby. You just like kidding up. Now, some of you don't kid up. You work out of baggies, you get baggies, and you work right out of the baggies. 
But when you don't get baggies and you get the heat seal, what do you kid up in? I would suspect that people, and I'm not sure about this, you can tell me in the comments, that people who work out of baggies, as a rule, don't like the kid up. As a rule. Which is why they work out of baggies. They don't want the kidding up process. They just want to get the diamond painting on deck, maybe iron it flat, flatten it out, whatever they're going to do. And start diamond painting. They don't want to do the extra step of kidding up. 42. Oh, I didn't put the... 42. Yeah, do you like kidding up? That's the question. Is it, a, is it a pleasurable part of the diamond painting hobby for you? Let me let me speak for myself. Yes, I like kidding up. I like kidding up. Did I put... Uh, my, my dryer sheet process it's getting lost in the weeds here okay let me just kind of get that going 43 I do like kidding up now here's another question do you like kidding up more than kidding down or you prefer kidding down and kidding down what is that for you if you're not saving your spares your extras what do you do with them? Do you say, okay, I'm done with that painting. Everything's intact. I've sealed it. Let me get rid of these drills. And you just pour them all into one great big mason jar. And it's a colorful little mason jar that you use for decoration. Do you toss them into the trash? Do you bag them up and give them away to a diamond painting friend? What do you do? Or do you, are you saving your spares? I've started my square book of spares. I have not started my round one. That's something else that I really need to do as soon as I can find the time. Maybe I'll do that on camera. I don't know how many people. I know we have quite a few newbies would like to see that process. Yeah, I could. I'm trying to keep it moving, folks. But I'd love to know how many people enjoy kidding up. I prefer kidding up than kidding down. But I now that my kidding down process I'm missing my coffee is known to me and I have kind of it you know I have a system if you will kind of worked out for myself kidding, kidding down is not such the drudgery it used to be because I have a system that works for me. I use my binders. Other people have boxes and that sort of thing, which is fine. Um, I think I want another little piece in there. I saw you pop out. Don't even try it. There you go. Okay, 45. Yeah, so I prefer kidding up than kidding down. And I will show my kidding down process. I did try to film it at one time, but spacing was an issue. I think I've solved the spacing issue, so I can take another stab at kidding down and putting it um, as one of my videos. And I have adopted this attitude my garbage box is getting a little full. Yep, yep, overflow. I need something, some weight on there. Okay, that should give me 45. What did I do with your sticker? Oh, there it is. 45, 963. Now that my kidding down process is known to me, yeah, I enjoy it. Because I can kind of sit back and I don't get a headache about where am I going to put this and how am I going to do that. I have it figured out for myself. 
And, you know, getting down represents a completion of something, right? And that always feels good. That's the feel-good part of Diamond Pain. I, I just like the whole process of Diamond Pain. The kidding up, the actual drilling in, the recharting, the thinking about how to do things or how to modify this, that, or the other thing. Kidding it down. Painting the edges of my diamond painting. How am I going to frame it? Am I going to put it on a, a canvas board or put it in a frame? Taking the measurements with me to the thrift shops to see if I can find something. Right? Four, okay, what number are you? Oh, 46. Okay, I didn't put a label on it. 46. Come on, 46. 46. Okay, 46. That's 47. Let me get the label on there. 47. Hang on just one second. Okay, sorry about that. I got interrupted by a call. Let's see. 47. 47. 47 of 65, folks. I'm making progress. And I will take a picture if I remember. You know how I'm going to remember? Let me tell you how I'm going to remember. Because uh, I may not remember. Take photo of Kidda. Okay, I will try to remember that. I'll pause the video, take a photo, and show you what the Kidding Up station looks like. Okay, this is my way of... That's like my notes, the brown paper that I keep here, helps me find the drills, pick them up a little bit easier than my slick desktop. And I, I keep butcher paper on a roll because I do mixed media journaling, as I've mentioned before. Paints, glitters... Markers, pencils, adult coloring, um, golden matte medium. I use a lot. I'm on number, what number? 48. So, because I do, I do a lot of collage art. Because I do other crafting, rather than, I invested, let me put it this way. I invested in the... The butcher's roller, where, you know, the butcher, if you go to a butcher shop, they have their white paper on a, on, a, on a stand that they rip the paper from. I have one of those, and I keep brown paper. I decided to go with brown paper instead of white paper, because it made more sense to me at the time, and I still like it over white paper. So I keep it on that stand on a great big thick, I think it's 18-inch roll. I just have to measure it this way to see how... Maybe it's 12 inch. I, I can't. Whatever. I invested in that some time ago. To cover my desk when I'm doing painting and things like that. To keep the cleanup time to a minimum. And to test colors with paints. I use it sometimes as a palette or use my markers or whatever. Whatever, whatever. I just have one. And this... It's better than my slick desk when it comes to these drills bouncing around all over the place. And I can use that paper now to keep notes. So I can try to keep my set, keep my um, topics and my talking points better organized. I'm not always going to be successful. But I think I'll be more successful if I just write it down in front of me. That's the idea. We'll see how it plays out in the future. There is one topic that I had on my list that I think we can wind down as we get closer and closer to the finish line here. I'm on 50. I love the fact that the premium houses give me my stickers that I need for kidding up. 
because I would have to take a picture of the legend and put it through my printer and blah blah blah. The topic that I have not brought up yet that was on my list was my Max Color Kits. I've been thinking about when I wanted to even start on that. And I think it will be this spring. And with the hopes of finishing it um, by the end of the year, by the, maybe the fall. By starting the spring, can I finish by the fall? By, you know, working on it here and there. I did not put a dryer sheet in there. Let's see here. There we go. Max Color Kits. I've been thinking about... I have two. Meant to only have one, but I bought a second painting not knowing it was a Max Color Kit or not paying attention to it. I just really liked the image. And then to get it home and see that it had 192 colors, whereas the first one I picked out, I knew was a Max Color Kit with 197. I've been thinking about organizing those drills. And I've watched other content creators talk about how they organize theirs. So that gives me a running head start on at least how to think about it. And I've been thinking about it. Do I want to... If you think about it, how would you organize them? Would you organize them by color? And then some subset organization within color, which is kind of what I'm thinking about. Would you categorize all of the symbols like alphanumeric, transportation, everyday life, um, depending upon what symbols are inclusive? Wait a minute, that's 52. 51, this is 52. Okay, I'm back on track. How do you think you would organize them? Even if you would never do a max color kit, because that's just out of your comfort zone. What approach might you take? Because I'm thinking about Doing it by color, blues, greens, reds, oranges, pinks, neutrals, and then within those colors, organizing them like alphanumeric, um, transportation, food and drink, within each, each color palette would have the same type of organization. That's what I'm thinking about. Because when, I, when I'm thinking about the canvas, I'm thinking, okay, this canvas, let's say I do the one with 192. This canvas has 192 different symbols. When I come to a symbol, what is the first thing I notice about that symbol? The shading of it? Do I recognize it as a blue versus a red versus a purple versus a neutral? What do I see first? Let's say that I notice the color first. Okay, then I can go, I know it's my blue box, right? For my drills. Then I notice the symbol itself. Let's say that it's an arrow. And I have a category that represents shapes or signs. And an arrow would be like a sign to me. So I could go to the blue box. Then I could go to the shapes and signs section of that box. And I can more quickly find that blue arrow. Because it, it's all about right efficiency. What number am I to? 53. That's kind of what I'm thinking. 53, folks. Not too much longer. That's kind of what I'm thinking, but I would love to get... That's 54? Wait a minute. That's 54. Where's 53? 
Okay. I'm not finding. Okay, let's see here. That was 52. Oh no. Okay, I'm going to pause the video. Hang on. Okay, I thought I had some witchery happening. Okay, 52, 53. I did 53. 53 is here. 53, there's a color. So now I'm on 54, and that's 54. And that's 54. Okay. Lost track for a minute. Ooh, price is averted. Okay, 54. But I'd love to get other people's feedback. Just your thinking. Even if you won't do it, how would you think about organizing it? Can you give me some ideas that maybe I haven't thought about? I'm Like I said, I'm kind of leaning into... Ooh, I'm kind of leaning into sorting it by color. Color waves. And then when... In each color wave having categories for all of the symbols figuring out what I have and assigning each symbol a category I'm on 55 folks and there is 55 and there is 55 and there is a dryer sheet now, what I've seen other content creators do is do everything by category. They come up with a list of categories, and then they take the time to plot each of the 192 symbols into one of their eight or so categories. And then once they do that, I don't know that they subsort. Once you can kind of get everything together in a category, what I, I'm, try, I'm trying to remember how they arrange them in the box. Once they're in a category, do they put all the blues together, all the greens together? I'm not sure. That would be a similar approach to what I'm thinking. But maybe what I should do, because I, I'm not there yet. I've got my kit. But I'm not there yet on organizing them. Maybe I should pay attention. Do I need a dryer sheet in here? I think I will put one in here. Pay attention to what I notice when I'm going to look for a symbol on these smaller kits. Like this one, 65 colors. I've done that more. I've done that 65 and more, so that to me this is not a particularly big hit. I'm okay with the color. I do have one that's 83. That's not considered max colors. That's a, that's a, that's pushing my little envelope. I'm gonna have to get creative. I'll have to use my kitting up station plus a little smaller kit to keep all the colors together. Um, this is. 57. 50. I knew something was kind of off. 57. So that's what I'm thinking. I just don't know what's going to work for me. Is there some other... Because doing it one by 197, that is totally not going to work. Because I would have to re refer to a legend that's probably about this wide and that, you know, really long to find what I'm looking for. And I'm, I'm not for it. I'm really not for it. So I think the only practical way, unless there's a way that I'm just not thinking about, is to do it first by color. And then within each color giving some broad categories. So every symbol has some category that it best represents. This is 58, this is 58, and that's 58. Not, like instead of saying 
um, automobiles. I would just say, like, something more broad like transportation. And then the automobiles could go there. If there's a bicycle, it could go there. A horse and buggy could go there. An airplane could go there. A helicopter could go there. Any boats could go there. Into that category. I'm on 59, folks. Almost done. Okay, that's 60. I'm on 59. Oh, boy. Trying to keep track of everything. Okay, that's going to need a dryer sheet. Is there another type of organization that you guys would recommend that I consider? For my max color kit of 192 and 197 colors, respectively. What approach might you try? I, do, I don't think there's an endless option. Color, category. Um, you could use the numerical sequence. I wouldn't, but it's an option. Just not for me. I thought I felt a bead fall out. And I do call them beads, drills, diamonds. I, I rarely call them diamonds, to be honest about it. That's 59, folks. I'm on 60. 60 of 65. This is my first AB. And I don't want to pull out the canvas. But this yellow, let's assume that yellow AB is going to go in the chicks and that flower. That sounds like a plan. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's, oh, those are really pretty. Let me, let me actually stand up so I can see whether or not you can see that. Yeah. So, the chicks. The flower. Yeah. Pretty. So, all of... Oops. Uh, look, look what I did, folks. I'm getting tired. Uh, I'm not going to pull out my little brush. Let me just... I did buy one of those vacuums. It's in one of the Timu bags that I haven't opened yet. I'm even ashamed to even say that I have... I've got Timu stuff I haven't opened, but it's the truth. And I did not start a YouTube channel to lie to people. It's the truth. I've got several Timu bags that I haven't even so much as opened yet. 61. Yeah, I've got to figure out. I just want to think about it. Because that's a lot of... If I go with one approach and decide that it's... I haven't thought it through clearly. I'm on 61. That it would be a lot of work to redo my sorting and ordering of those drills for those max color kits. So, while I didn't want to, like, get a, all super anal about it, I did want to take a minute and at least think about it. Here's the... What number was that? 808 ABs. You can look at that pink. That's really pretty. It must be in the piggy somewhere, right? And maybe the hem of her dress? Maybe the eggs? Not sure. Not sure. But it's really pretty. 808 is the color AB. And this project, if you don't recall from the beginning, has six ABs. And they're all in the highest numbers. 60 through 60, whatever. 
This is 62 and it's blue. The only thing that's blue in this picture really is her little jumper. Maybe on the eggs. It has maybe a hue of blue. There's not much here. Okay, guys, I know I don't say this very often in my videos. But if you're new to the channel, we'd love for you to subscribe to the channel. Our memberships are growing. I'm trying to take a proactive approach to my channel. And I'm going to pause because I think I am missing a sticker. Hang on just one sec. Okay, I had to handwrite out a sticker. I'm not sure where that sticker went. But I will just draw whatever the symbol is on that sticker. I just don't know what I did with it. It got stuck to something. Who knows? 63. Okay, that was 62. And 63. Yeah, so... Max colors, yeah. I think I'm going to at least kit it up. I have a separate kitting up solution, 63, for my max color. I'm going to use the 56 grid for, you know, the four little ones that are attached in a row. I'm going to use that. Because just because I have 192 colors doesn't mean 192 colors. I think there are very few of each of those. I do not believe there is a lot of volume per color. So I think those smaller ones will work out just fine. And plus with all the confetti that I'm expecting, when I take out one of those, those uh, little four in a row type of kidding up solutions, I can have multiple colors out without having a lot of different containers out. So I think that that's going to be a good choice for me, and that's what I went with. 64. So I think I'll kit it up this spring and work on it simultaneous with the other things that I'm working on. Last one. Oh, I did not even show you 64. It's an orange, orangey color. 65. 65. So let me know what you think on the, how, what you would do, what would be your approach for those Max Color Kits. So I can maybe verify that my thinking is correct or is reasonable, not correct. I don't think there's a correct or incorrect way of doing it. It's whatever works for you. There's a lot of static in there. I got a couple of dryer sheets. That's 65. And that will do that, folks. So, again, I will put a couple of hashtags in this video that will be needed in your comments to be for the drawing that will happen sometime near the end of February for the $50 gift card if you choose to participate. Look for those hashtags and include that hashtag in your comment. And leave me your thoughts on the sharing circle channel event theme or the idea of it and your approach for guess what I just found it was stuck to my sleeve 62 okay I will just put that over there and 62 now I'm there it was just stuck to my sleeve your thoughts on how you might organize a max color kit. Okay. I'm going to take a quick photo of my kitting up station and share it with you. Hang on. And there it is, folks. 
the kitting up of the 65 colors for barn babies. Very pretty. I love the color palette. But that's what it looks like in my kitting up station. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. It's been an hour and 45 minutes. I knew it would be a long one. It's a big kit. And um, do participate in the comment section. I do read them. Maybe a few days delay. And I do respond to them. And I thank you for that feedback. It really helps tremendously. And it's very much appreciated. And thank you and welcome to all of the new subscribers as well. And as we part now and you guys go about your everyday lives sharing your shine with your fellow man, do practice tolerance and respect. Because remember, light is reflective. And if you share your shine with someone, they are likely to share, to share their shine back with you. So allow that light to come in as you express your own. And until we can get together again, folks, thank you for joining me. And take care. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.